Welcome to the John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. Mormon Church on Cairo TV has taken the show Picket Fences off the air, citing violence, as well as a Mormon character who still says that the church believes in polygamy. A Cairo official says the show really offended him, as well as his three wives. <laughs> Northwest Trek plans to shoot 35 deer in their public park because of overpopulation. Visitors will be able to watch the hunt from the brand new Bambi tram. <laughs> Former Vice President Dan Quayle has sold his memoirs for one million dollars. It's believed to be the largest sum of money ever paid for a coloring book. <laughs> Four Portland Trailblazers had sex, had a sex party in Utah with two young girls. The activity didn't surprise NBA analysts who commented that the Blazers' game plan has always involved taking advantage of a two-on-one situation. The girls, oh yes, I know. The girls who consented to the sex said it was fun at first, but typically the Blazers got tired in the late going. <laughs> The Arson Task Force says their likely suspect is a white male about six feet tall, 30 to 40 years old, and of average intelligence. Investigators say they would like to talk to all the junior high PE teachers in the area. <laughs> Senator Bob Packwood issued a statement Tuesday saying he won't resign even if the majority of voters want him to. Following his announcement, the Oregon senator roared loudly, beat his chest, and peeled a banana with one hand. <laughs> The author of the book, Words of Wisdom of a Sidewalk Sage, stood in front of Elliott Bay Books in Pioneer Square, where she answered philosophical questions and gave worldly advice to passers-by. The most frequently given advice of the day was, there's a policeman approaching, I think you'd better zip up. <laughs> Finally, a sales seminar at, Washington, at the Washington State Convention Center caused a huge traffic jam on I-5. It turns out the seminar was for the hair club for men, and all those people on the freeway stopped because they thought everyone was looking down on the top of their head. This has been the John Report. Thank you, and we'll be right back.